The only reason why I'm prepared for this video today is because I've been listening to Kanye West's new album and I feel really hyped up. So last week the cover that we've all been waiting for officially came out and that is Kingdom of Ash. If you don't know what Kingdom of Ash is, Kingdom of Ash is the final book in the Throne of Glass series which is one of my all time favorite series and Kingdom of Ash is coming out October 23rd of this year. I still can't believe that not only we have a title for this book but now we have a cover so it's really becoming a reality and it's really hard for me to accept that we're getting closer and closer every day to the end of this fantastic series and like I don't know how I feel about it. But of course when the cover came out I was like you know what that means, it's Crackpot Theories time! I've had time to really look at this cover and study it and form theories because I was on vacation last week when this cover came out so I've definitely had a couple of days to really think about what I wanted to say in this video and my thoughts and feels on it and I'm ready. Not really but we're gonna do this, so let's get started. As per usual, I'm going to show you all the cover if you haven't seen it yet, so let's just show this beautiful baby. <laughs> My first immediate reaction to seeing this cover was, holy shoot, except I thought of a different word, which I'm not going to say. But my goodness gracious, this cover was so surprising and unexpected, like, it just hit me. I was like, wow. First, we, we gotta talk about the gold, because the gold is what really just, like, blew me away. This cover is just this vibrant gold and there's kind of like some orange near the bottom like it's really like bright at the top but then as it goes down it's like kind of gets darker which is interesting I feel like and I am betting my money right now that it's fire if you really look closely at it you can definitely see some flames especially around like Aline's kind of around her waist and like near her legs like you can see them around the words kingdom of ash which I mean looks really cool but it's probably not a good sign because that means fires erupting which is not good but after looking at the cover for a while i do like the orange slash gold vibe i think it's really cool and different because when i first saw it i honestly didn't like it because i was like whoa that's just very different and i've never really seen a lot of books with like gold cover so I don't know it was new but I like it it's something new and that's always good the next big thing I want to talk about on this cover and I'm pretty sure this is like the only other big thing but Aline so I had no idea what to expect for Aline on this cover I just I didn't know I had no idea and I remember the day before the cover came out someone tweeted about how they were wondering if Aline was gonna be in a coffin on the cover and I was like she better not be but she's not thank god because a coffin on a cover I just think that wouldn't work plus have you read the end of Tower of Dawn anyway our girl Aline is standing tall and proud after two years we have an image of her and she seems okay. This may be Aline's most intimidating outfit yet. Like, <laughs> every time I look at it, I feel like she's gonna come out of the cover and stab me and I would be okay with that. Aline has looked kick butt on <laughs> pretty much all of the Throne of Glass covers, but this one, she's in full glorious armor she's ready for war and she's gonna kick everyone's butt this armor is just so glorious and i've looked at it a bunch but i just feel like it's so glorious that i feel like i'm missing all the little details i feel like there are hints for what's gonna happen in this book in her armor but i just can't tell because i'm just so mesmerized by it there's like this blue sash um, going around her waist and I don't know what that means is that like Tesserin's <sighs> I was gonna say black <laughs> do they even have a flag but there's a blue sash and I feel like it's important because every little thing is Sarah J Moss books 
is important. And there's also like this red dot, which I, I, it's hard to tell if it's a part of her sword or her armor. I think it's a part of the armor and it kind of looks like it's glowing. So maybe that's something. I don't know where I'm going with this. I just feel like there has to be some type of clue in her armor because it's so beautifully done like why wouldn't there be hints but like I'm so stupid that I can't tell. For some reason this cover is just so extravagant but yet so simple at the same time that it's hard for me to make theories and what's so weird is that with the tower of dawn cover oh my gosh i made so many theories on that baby i cracked that cover down and then here i am with this one and i'm just like there's a girl wearing armor and there's a gold background but i do want to talk about aline in general not her armor and not like how she looks whatever i want to talk about her and what's gonna happen to her in this book because a lot of stuff is probably gonna happen to her in this book. So I think Aline and even though it, it pains me to say this, I think Aline is going to face a lot of pain and torture in Kingdom of Ash and I especially think this after reading the end of Tower of John. I think Aline is going to feel the worst pain in her life in this book. And I mentioned earlier how she seems okay on this cover because oh she's standing up and oh she's wearing armor but I mean I, I don't actually think that. I think Aline is going to be broken in this book. I think she's just gonna be slammed down and we're gonna really see a true broken Aline and that's Scary. But just because I'm nervous for her doesn't mean that I don't have hope because I do. One of the things I love about Aline is that she never gives up. She always gets back up and this cover proves exactly that. Like she has her armor, she's holding her sword. Like our girl is going to rain. She's going to fight back. It's gonna be amazing. It's just so wild to me how this story, her story, is going to be coming to an end in just a few months. Like, I've been reading these books since 2014. Oh my gosh, that was like four years ago. But I know Aline's story is going to end with a bang. Hopefully not a literal one, because I don't want my girl to die, even though I can perfectly see that happening. I still don't want it to happen. All I know is that Kingdom of Ash it's definitely gonna be a very unforgettable finale and I'm really excited to read it and nervous but excited! Thank you all so much for watching this crackpot theories video even though I feel like I didn't even really make a lot of theories. Oh well, I do this all the time so I still hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know your thoughts and feels on the Kingdom of Ash cover and if you got some theories please comment them in the comments down below. I would love to discuss this cover with you all and thank you all so much again for watching this video and I'm Courtney and I'll see you all next time with a new video soon so I'll see you then so bye!